to Senator Blackburn. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Secretary. Thank you for being with us today. I know we've talked some about the unaccompanied minors that have traversed that southern border. A big part of the solution is to secure that southern border. Now, these children have found themselves in the custody of HHS in the Office of Refugee Resettlement. And what we have seen during this surge is the administration's inadequate ability to actually handle the capacity of unaccompanied alien children that are coming into this country. And instead of fixing the border, which is what we would have liked for the president to do, you pressured your staff to expedite the release of these children, prioritizing speed over due diligence. In fact, in a video and a Zoom call with your staff that I viewed, you actually said this, and I'm going to quote you. If Henry Ford had seen this in his plants, he would have never become famous and rich. End quote. Now, you made that comment talking about how to assembly line process children that were coming into the country. And over due diligence, over safety, you prioritized speed and moving them on out. Now the OIG, your HHS OIG, recently reported that your staff didn't make timely safety and well-being calls, if they made them at all, 22% were late months past the time they were due, and 18% never went out at all, at all. And it also found that the staff skipped essential safety steps, such as ensuring that the sponsors did not have a criminal record or that they were not sex offenders. So. It should be no surprise that we're continuing to hear reports suggesting the existence of trafficking schemes that are preying on these vulnerable individuals, allegations that we're hearing of coercion, of forced labor, and despite my persistent inquiries on this issue, your staff has stonewalled getting answers back to me. Now, I've written you twice. I got responses that were non-answers from your assistant secretaries, one of them being over six months late, and I got it just last week before this hearing. Mr. Secretary, this leads me to believe that you don't give a rip and flip about what is happening to these vulnerable children. Now, you answered Senator Cornyn about knowing where the children are and knowing who the sponsors are, but I've talked to caseworkers in some places and they say they can't ask if somebody is in the country legally or not. And OIG said they had concerns. They had 35%, 35% of the case files had legibility concerns over images, scans of photo IDs, birth certificates, legal documents. So let me ask you this. Can you sit here today in front of us and say with full certainty that your department knows the identity of these children's sponsors? Senator, let me make sure, make sure I respond to the question in terms of the identity of sponsors. No child in our custody is released to a sponsor without having gone through a full vetting. Uh, so a full we vetting know that you said, let's speed it up because Henry Ford could never have been rich and famous if he worked at the slow process you are. Children are not widgets on an assembly line. They are human beings. And that's exactly and what is, I said. Well, sir, I would say OIG disagrees with you. He says that you do not know. Do you think you have a responsibility to follow up with these children when they're placed? Senator, we not only uh, believe it's our responsibility to take care of these children while they're in our custody, but we, we make efforts, even though 
you and your colleagues did not give us the authority to try to uh, follow now, them sir, after you we, have they leave the our authority, care. 6 U.S.C. 279B. To do what? ORR shall be responsible for coordinating and implementing the care and placement of unaccompanied alien children. That's that is correct. a shall. That's it means correct. you got to go the do this. That is sponsorship uh, And then vetting section 2.8.4. Care providers must conduct a safety and well-being follow-up call with an unaccompanied child and his or her sponsor 30 days after the release of the date. Mr. Secretary, Director Marcos is failing in this. There are 85,000 children that we know of that you all cannot find. And you are hesitant to move forward with giving us the information. My time has expired. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, my Chairman, colleague. Senator, Mr. White, Chairman, Senator Whitehouse. Mr. Oh, Chairman, if I could just, just very briefly. Very briefly. First, uh, I, I take umbrage to the mischaracterization and in some cases misrepresentation of the facts by Senator Blackburn. Uh, and I also want to make it clear that uh, we have people at ORR who are working as hard as they can with the resources that we have. Your misrepresentations on the authorities we, I, we have at ORR are appalling. It is unfortunate that you wish to mischaracterize the work that we're doing, and we do everything we can with the authorities you give us to provide the care that these kids need. Mr. Secretary, but, we're, we're Mr. Have, Chairman, we're have to I would Senator ask to submit the letters and the statute without for a, the without record. Without objection, so ordered. Senator 